Hello, good morning, welcome back to another video. It's great to see you again. If you haven't seen me before, my name's Chris. I'm generally a landscape photographer, but today we're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna do um, some wildlife photography, specifically around small beds, maybe squirrels. Um, I'm gonna use a Canon 7D for this and a 70 to 200 millimeter lens. Now, wildlife photography isn't something that I normally, um, I normally partake in. So I don't really have a dedicated wildlife lens, so I'm hoping the crop factor of the 7D with the 70 to 200 millimeter lens, which is gonna give me about 320 millimeters at the long end, is gonna be sufficient for this. So I've come down to the Humber Bridge, which is a local country park. It's maybe about a five minute drive from where I live. It's not far at all. So let's go get stuck in and see if I can take some wildlife photos with a 7D and a 70 to 200 millimeter lens. Cool. So I have arrived. It's a little bird watching, little bird feeding station here. There's a little bench so I can put my bag on there. Um, so basically this video is going to be me camped around where I am now. I'm gonna get the long lens in amongst all this lot. We're gonna take some pictures of some birds on the feeding tables, maybe find some in the trees. I'm not too sure yet. So I've seen someone's already left a bit of food around, so that should attract them. There's a lot of robins around at the minute. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of time, maybe 10 minutes just to see, let them get used to my presence and hopefully, hopefully, we we'll get some nice pictures this morning. Yeah, there's a lot of robins about. I'll talk more about robins in a little while, I think, and get some off my chest. So let's get set up and hopefully we'll get some nice photos. So I've got my lens on, it's on the camera. Uh, settings wise, I'm using a thousandth of a second in shutter speed priority mode. I've got auto ISO turned on, purely because I'm lazy and I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, like I say, I'm not too experienced with uh, wildlife photography, so I just really want to keep the shutter speed nice and fast. In fact, I'm just going to blop it down to an eight hundredth of a second to start with. Um, I'm photographing small songbirds, so the reason behind the faster shutter speed is they're going to be moving quite a lot, they're going to be quite twitchy. So I'm hoping the faster shutter speed is going to allow me to freeze them in motion. Now, the idea is to stand here and start taking some photographs. So let's get stuck in and see what we can do here. All right, so everything seems to be sort of congregating around. There's a bird feeding station just on that tree there. Everything sort of seems to be hanging around there, so that's... That's going to be my first port of calls. What a blue tits on it. So this is going to be a test of the air uh, camera's auto focus system, I think. Uh, just as I say that. Let's have a look. So I'm using auto focus servo mode for these. And I'm really just not too sure if I'm doing this right. It's not something I have an awful lot of experience with, like I keep saying. But I know what them beds are, they're called blue tits. And there's a few of them all around that bed feeder. So I'm gonna pop some shots off there. Uh, let me check the histogram on these. No, the histogram looks fine. ISO's a bit high, the ISO's around the ground, so these are probably gonna be quite noisy, so we're not gonna be cropping too far in. Uh, some sort of black birdie type thing on that feeder there. The camera can't track it for some reason, I don't know why. Uh, got a nice orange beak and some nice orange eyes. Oh, it flew off. A bugger. Right. So there's the first round of images taken. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw them on the screen for you to see. And I'm just going to wait around and just see what else happens. So that was round one of using a Canon 7D and a 70 to 200 millimeter lens for wildlife. Here's the images. <laughs>
Uh, so what that was, was a very small robin. Uh, didn't really seem to be too bothered by me being there, so I took a series of shots with that one there. Uh, ranging in shutter speed from a 500th of a second to a 1,000th of a second. But the problem I've got is the faster shutter speeds allow me to get sharper photos, but the auto ISO is pushing right up to about 3200, which on a small crop sensor body, I'm a little bit concerned about the amount of noise in the images. So, well, here's some of the best images from the little robin, I suppose. Um, I have no idea how any of these are gonna turn out. So, I can keep saying, lack of experience and the first time doing this sort of thing with this camera. So, um, at least I'm able to get quite close to them, um, which is surprising me. Because normally bears run away or fly away, whatever bears do. So, well, like I said, here's a little selection of the best images from that little tiny robin there. However many they are, there may be one, there may be four, there may be 150 million, I don't know. Here they are. So like I said uh, a little bit earlier on in the video, I just want to talk about robins for a second. Um, a couple of weeks ago, uh, I lost my brother uh, on New Year's Eve. Uh, it was a little bit of a rough time, and I don't know if the energy of my my recent YouTube videos, I don't know if the energy has been sapped out of them a little bit because that's been playing on my mind, but apparently robins are a sign that a recent or a past loved one has come to visit. So. I think today I'm taking a little bit of comfort in in taking some photographs of some robins. It sounds a little bit sad, really, when I think about it, but it's maybe a coping me mechanism, I don't know. But yeah, I, I feel like the energy of my, my recent YouTube videos has, has kind of been sapped out of me a little bit because of that. It has, like I say, it's been playing on my mind, and uh, well, I'm hoping to get a print of one of these robins, if that makes sense. It's a little bit sad, but I think it's a comfort thing for me. So anyway, that's enough of the uh, of the sentimental stuff. I don't want to go too far into it because it's all still a little bit raw, a little bit, um, yeah. Let's carry on taking some pictures of some beds and I might cheer up some. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Go. All right, so this bit might be fun on games. I've put the GoPro on, so what I'm gonna try and do it. I'm gonna try and do a bit of point of view footage so you can actually see what I'm doing uh, with the camera. That might be a good idea, so let's try that. Um, in terms of subjects and targets, I don't know, because the squirrels have all seemed to have ran out here, and I was kind of hoping to get some nice pictures of some squirrels, but they're not there, I can't take a picture of them, can I? So, there's still plenty of blue tits and there's still plenty of robins, so let's, um, let's see if we can get them, so let's go. Okay, so what I'm doing is, my plan is to get myself in position around where this bed feeder is. Now, if I come to the side of this, right, everything has flown off for the time being. So essentially all you're going to be seeing there is a wooden post. So just over there, there is a little bed feeder, all right? So I'm gonna wait for something to come into view there. I've been having problems with the autofocus uh, tracking on this camera, if I'm being honest with you. I can't get it to, um, you know, cameras have servo mode for autofocus tracking. The servo mode seems really, really out on this. Now, I don't know if it's because I'm using a slightly slower lens. So maybe a 2.8 lens might work a little bit better. I'm not too sure, and the camera also doesn't want to want to lock on autofocus straight away either. It hunts around a little bit until you sort of get it in the rough area manually. So I don't know if, oh, there's a squirrel over there in that tree. You're too far away. Yeah, he's running, he's running, he's running. Stay still. Please stay still. Please stay still. Oh, you bugger. There you go. Ah, uh, you've gone right in the spot where I didn't want you to go, which was right in the bushes there, look. Yeah, it uh, seems to be coming out a bit. Uh, you see, I kind of want it in like a natural environment, not on the bed feeding. It's looking at me. It wants its pick. Yeah, stuff it, let's do it. No, it's ran away again. All right. Well, I'd like it's fiddly. It moves, I don't like it. All right, I've got him in the tree. I 
think there might be a branch in front of his eye there. I'm trying to focus on its eye. And it's right up in all them twigs. The worst spot it could be in, isn't it? It's really, really too far up now. I don't like shooting up at wildlife. Wildlife looks better if you're shooting across it, sort of at its level. Right, I might shut up for a minute and stop talking. That might be what's putting them off. Let's see if we can't get closer to that little poser. Let's uh, creep around here a little bit. Just keeping the movement nice and slow. I need to run off in the tree. I'm not very good at wildlife, am I? I think you're supposed to hide and camouflage yourself out. Hmm, right, robins. More robins. It's a shame I can't seem to get them in the bushes, in the trees where they live. So what you're watching now is a very inexperienced wildlife photographer. Like I say, landscape is my bag, wildlife not so much. I don't know if I'm supposed to be standing still, hiding in a bush, I don't know if I'm allowed to be running around, I don't know. So thanks for watching today's video, I hope you enjoyed it. I just wanted to do something a little bit different, a little bit away from the landscape stuff for a change. I quite enjoyed the wildlife stuff, it's just I don't have the lens. I think the lens has let me down today. The camera, I need to figure out the autofocus mode, specifically around the servo mode and the focus tracking and things like that, but maybe I'm used to mirrorless cameras and this old DSLR. It's maybe just, it is what it is, and the mirrorless cameras that I'm used to are just, they're a little bit faster with that, but I'm gonna have a little bit of play with it. I was having a bit of trouble getting it to lock onto things and keep things in focus, so I'm probably gonna blame user error more than the camera there. I'm gonna have a little bit of a, a little bit of a mess around with it, see if I can figure that thing out. So if you did enjoy today's video, please do give it a thumbs up. It does help the video out, it helps bring new viewers to my channel, and I always appreciate that. And there's a subscribe button down there, you can always hit that and you can see more, more nonsense from me in the future. So I hope you did enjoy today's video. I'm not too sure how this one's gonna look when it's all said and done and put together. So I'm interested to see what this final video that you've just watched, hopefully you've made it this far, um, looks like. So I guess I should leave with my typical ending now, which is um, peace and goodbye. <laughs>